Um, it's a real pleasure to be here at this terrific annual event, and yes, asbestos is still legal, but I would like this as my alternative title. Frankly, it frightens me when I hear people, educated people, say that they think there's a ban on asbestos, and we're the 1% that know the facts, and it's up to us to educate the other 99%, and that's why ADAO's mission is so vitally important. You wouldn't believe the number of people who, when you tell them that asbestos is not banned, they're like, well, I'm going to go and Google it and find out. It is banned. I know it's banned. And most people, I would guess probably 99% of the population in the U.S. believes that asbestos is banned, and it's not banned. And if we can't even ban something that is a known carcinogen like asbestos, how in the world are we going to deal with other hazardous substances in our environment? And the cost to society, it's, it's almost, um, it's, it's such a huge number that you can't even calculate it because you don't even, you don't just have health care costs. You have people who have losing time from work because of their own illness, but the caretakers for those people, the effect on children and their families when your mother or father has a disease, um, um, lost productivity, uh, the cost of all of the medical treatments, so the costs to society are enormous. We need better laws to protect workers who uh, encounter asbestos in buildings and infrastructures and soil. We need a total ban on asbestos so though no more of it is brought into our country. And we need criminal penalties for individuals and companies who violate OSHA asbestos standards. No one should have the right to poison someone and walk away.